Hey everyone, today we're going to be in Esther chapter 1. On the seventh day, when wine had put the king in high spirits, he gave an order to the seven eunuchs who served King Ahasuerus personally. They were to bring Queen Vashti before him wearing the royal crown. She was gorgeous, and he wanted to show off her beauty both to the general public and to his important guests. But Queen Vashti refused to come as the king had ordered through the eunuchs. The king was furious, his anger boiling inside. Then Memucan spoke up in front of the king and the officials. Queen Vashti has done something wrong, not just to the king himself. She has also done wrong to all the officials and the peoples of the province of King Ahasuerus. This is the reason. News of what the queen did will reach all women, making them look down on their husbands. They will say King Ahasuerus ordered servants to bring Queen Vashti before him, but she refused to come. This very day, the important women of Persia and Media will hear about the queen and will tell the royal officials the same thing. There will be no end to put-downs and arguments. So, he sent written orders to all the king's provinces. Each province received it written in its own alphabet, and people received it in their own language. And it said that each husband should rule over his own house. So here at the beginning of the story, we're coming off of a six-month party with uninhibited drinking, it says. So you already have a clue that people aren't going to be making the best decisions. And the king wants his queen to come out and uh, show her off wearing her crown, which I think you can maybe read to say wearing nothing but the crown. And uh, to her credit, she refuses to be eye candy, but that creates a problem. Right? And it probably, apparently the problem is not just that the king is upset. Somehow she has offended every man in the kingdom. Uh, if other women here, they might not respect their husbands. Respect meaning not do whatever degrading things we command them. See, the problem actually is that she has threatened patriarchal control. Uh, you see, those that are in power typically are very concerned about threats to it and they, they overreact. And so these uh, wise men write a letter declaring that each husband should rule over his own house. Now, if you think that that is the biblical view between men and women, uh, I would remind you to bear in mind where that comes from. I don't think this is an example of pagan wisdom gets it right, too. I think instead we should see this as an example of how distorted the world is then and now. It's, it's sin that creates these hierarchies of power between gender between people. That's not something God creates. Anytime someone is as desperate as these rulers to maintain their power, that's a, probably a good sign they don't deserve it. True power doesn't abuse others, and godly leaders listen when their injustice is called out. So, what are you going to do with yours?